I don't think we've ever seen a view quite like this. This is incredible. How high up are we again? 300 meters. It has been a very long time since we went for a run in a video, but we thought today would be the perfect day because we are in Santiago, Chile for the first time. It happens to be an absolutely stunning day and we're in this beautiful park, so what better way to start exploring this city? So the park that we're in is called something like Bicentenario. <laughs> Sorry, our Spanish is so bad. We're from Canada and there really isn't much opportunity to practice your Spanish there. Um, it's in the northeast kind of part of the city in a neighborhood called Vita Cura. What an amazing park. There are so many people out. This park is super green. There are people on bicycles, scooters, there's picnics and get togethers happening. There's even people playing soccer. And the best part I think are these chairs. There's these lounger chairs that are everywhere. I'm not sure if they're free or not. You guys, look at this. What is this doing in the middle of a park? No idea, but I'm getting some good photos of it. Uh, speaking of which, we do have an Instagram account and you should be following us. We're gonna put it up on the screen here, but you can also find it down below. Every way we look around here, there is an amazing amazing view. We have mountains over this side and behind us here you probably see the city skyline which we are going to explore later. We can't wait for that. And I'm not sure if you can see it but I think it's right there. The tallest building in all of South America. I actually forget the name of it so we'll <laughs> yeah. put it up on the screen so you can check it out. Take a look at this. So there are fish pretty much everywhere. I don't know if you can see these guys or not. And then you have these swans I guess. They don't look like the swans we have. They have these kind of funny uh, red little noses. But guess what I see? I'm pretty sure there are flamingos over there. So we heard these guys were here and we're so happy we found them. We almost gave up. We ran the park pretty much twice. So we've been out now for like an hour. But here they are, it's the flamingos. So we heard before that flamingos get really pink uh, because of all the shrimp they eat. It's not because they're naturally pink. These guys are a little bit pink, but not really. So I wonder if they don't eat that many shrimps. Flamingo expert over here, right? But this isn't the first time we've seen them. No, we saw them recently in the Florida Keys, I think. Yeah, that we went to a, what was it? A butterfly sanctuary and they also yeah. had flamingos in there. All right, guys, we finished up our run and our workout. We're all cleaned up. We got changed and we came down to the main square because we figured it's the best way to kind of start exploring the city. Yeah, so we're in the Plaza de Armas, I think it's called. I'm probably saying that wrong. I'm saying everything <laughs> wrong, but it, like Trevor said, it is the main square of the yeah. city. It's kind of like the uh, original center of the city as well. So uh, our first impressions of this is it is old looking down here. Yeah, so we have a church right in front of us. I think it's called the Cathedral Metropolitana and it was built in the 1800s, but the actual square originates from like the 1500s. So if you're wondering why we're not going in, we have two reasons. One is that we have a lot of things to do today, so there won't be time. And two, because we're both wearing shorts and typically you can't go into a church with your knees showing, so we're not gonna risk it. So you may have noticed we've gone full torso mode today. Got a giant map. Uh, we're doing a hop on, hop off tour, which we don't normally do. It's very touristy. But we've also heard a lot of like very smart travelers say that they swear by these things in terms of getting around a city. So we're going to give it a try. such a convenient way to see the city I have to say someone's learning a few things over I'm here learning lots of stuff. <laughs> so um, the reason we're on the bus is it's a little tricky to get around Santiago is a lot of traffic and we really want to get to that tall building we showed you earlier and after that there is this hill in the middle of the city that we want to get to as well So 
it's one hour later. We made it over to another side of the city and we're right by the Castaneda uh, Center. I can't believe it took an hour to get here. This city is so massive, but right now we are standing underneath this enormous skyscraper. We're gonna tell you more about it as we get up there. We are currently at the top of the Sky Constanera, which is the tallest building in all of South America. I think we're at 300 meters, and there's pretty amazing views up here. So we actually thought it was going to be a little tricky to see the enormous mountains that surround uh, Santiago here in Chile, but you can sort of see them. It is a little hazy. Um, I think it's a little bit of smog, I and mean, people in the comments can let us know, but you can actually see those gorgeous mountains off in the distance. So it's this way to the open sky, so let's, uh, let's do it. I don't think we've ever seen a view quite like this. This is incredible. How high up are we again? 300 meters. It said this way to the open sky, so we were a bit confused because there's glass. Yeah, look, of course there's gonna be glass here. But if you look up, you can actually, well, there is open sky, but of course you can't go up there. So if you're in Santiago, we highly recommend you come here. A, it's just the tallest building in South America, so it's worth it right there, but the views are stunning. And we were trying to remember when we've recently been up somewhere and had really great views, and yeah. we realized it was recently in Kuala Lumpur. In we Malaysia. Up, yeah, in Malaysia. <laughs> we went to up the top of the KL Tower and had like kind of 360 views uh, there yeah. as well. That was beautiful. We'll make sure to link it if you want to check it out because the views were on par with this. We're in a cable car and if that seems familiar and you've been following our stories we were just in uh, Medellin, Colombia and went in a couple of cable cars there and now we're doing it again. Yeah, I wonder if the views are going to be as spectacular as Medellin. We're just getting started here. Oh, there goes the cable car. And that is the building we were just up in. Wow, the views are just out of this world. I'm not even sure if this is the same city or just the suburbs of Santiago, which is this way. And look, absolutely stunning. So guys, there's actually two stops on the way up here in the cable car. The first stop, I think there might be some restaurants and parks around. Um, and then the next one, uh, it's about 15 minutes all the way up to the top. And that is where you're gonna get even, I think even better views than we already have. Guys, this is one of these instances where like the camera cannot capture what is happening here. And it's so disappointing when you see the results. I mean, I'm sure it looks pretty cool, but from up here, it's amazing. This is one of those like very much pinch me moment. The mountains back there are humongous and they like tower over this whole city. It's crazy. We have made it up to the top of San Cristobal Hill, and I do have to say, it's very exotic up here. Yeah, and it's really beautiful. Lots of lush trees, palm trees, great view. It is, um, I believe, a religious place. There's mm -hmm. a church up here, lots of statues. The biggest one being Mary. You can kind of see her from throughout the city, but up here, you're up close and personal. And I'm also shocked that it's not very windy up here at all. In fact, there's no wind. <laughs> We are at the main attraction here now, up on uh, St. Cristobal Hill, and uh, you can see the giant statue of Mary behind us. Right, that giant statue is actually 22 meters high. Um, this area here is a sanctuary, and it is dedicated to the Immaculate Conception. That's why there is a statue of Mary here at the very top. Um, if you're wondering how high up we are, though, it's 850 meters to the very top. It is such an impressive structure. My only complaint about it is what's right over here. There is a cell tower, which really doesn't fit with this beautiful statue of Mary at all. We're going to take a funicular down. Funicular down. Cable car up, funicular down. Pretty cool concept, I have to say. Just like that, 
we're back <laughs> down to the bottom of the hill. So first full day exploring. Santiago, what are uh, your thoughts? First impressions? It's, it's absolutely beautiful. There is so much traffic. It does take a while to move around. We've learned that pretty quickly, but today it was pretty convenient with the uh, hop on and hop off bus. We got around the city pretty easily. We did, yeah. So we have these great little bracelets yeah. for the hop on, <laughs> hop, up, hop, hop, on, hop off. Uh, this ticket is called Hop On, Hop Off Plus. If you're wondering, it lasts for two days and it gives you the funicular and the cable car and then the hop on, hop off bus, which is really convenient. So mm -hmm. a big thank you to Touristique. We will uh, link them down below if you're wondering uh, where to get tickets. Yeah, so uh, we're loving the city so much. It was a great first impression. We know we're going to be hanging out here longer. And I think in the next video, we're going to uh, be exploring some neighborhoods. We have a few neighborhoods in mind that I think we'll check out. Yeah. And uh, if you haven't watched our last video, make sure to do that because we were in Peru. We were in Lima. In Lima. And we were um, eating some delicious food. And I'm hungry already thinking about that. And guys, if you're uh, new around here, just a reminder again, I'm Trevor. This is Anna. We are the Delightful Travelers. Make sure to hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell for notifications. That way you know when our videos come out. If you got this far in the video, because it's probably long, hit the like button. Probably means you like it. And uh, leave us a comment. We love when we get comments. All right, guys, that's it. From Santiago, Chile, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.